All right, it's a tier five game on Erlenberg. Grr, I remember the name of Derpenberg here. Anyways, Erlenberg. I'm in my T49. Whoops. Usually try and take that completely out, so I'm going to smush it flat with my tank. There we go. Take out that garbage so no one can hide behind it while they're capping. And I'm going to start racing eastward here to take up usual position on Tank Destroyer Ridge over here. But as I'm running over here, I'm also studying the mini-map. And about this point, I suddenly go, it doesn't look like a lot of people are going westward. They might need some help. So I start looping around to go west. As I could use studying the mini-map, I suddenly realized that things are even worse than I realized, because there's a whole bunch of tanks just rolling down the middle of the map. So on second thought, I will continue towards my original location, because from there I can move quickly to reinforce threatened points on the eastern flank, because I suspect we're going to be short several of the tanks I see rolling over around over here very, very shortly, because they're all going to run down towards the center of the map and be summarily slaughtered by the assaulting team. Or... That's what I'm figuring. So I come over here, I take up sniping position, and sure enough, just as I get here, an M4 Sherman is spotted, roaming around in the center, and a flak bus. So I roll backwards over here, trying to get into a position where I can potentially shoot at either of those enemy tanks. Flak bus, no, he's behind some buildings. Can't go over him. All right, we'll try for the Sherman. Flak bus just died anyways. Ooh, very marginal shot. I take it, he moves just nick of time to avoid being shot. Try it again. Nope, that one went over him. The B1 is trying to do something to him, but the Sherman has a bigger health pool and a bigger gun, and just takes him apart. Oh, we just can't have that Sherman driving around there in the middle, can we? I can hear other people are shooting at him. But as I come closing in here, using these bushes to try and conceal my approach, the Panzer IV on the hill starts taking him down. And take, finishes him off just as I'm firing a shot at him. Well, that's all well and good. At least he's gone. But he did manage to take three of our tanks with him. Mind you, they were three of our lower tier tanks. Including a, a fail platoon tier two. Uh, for two tier five. So it may be a slight balance attrition. But even as I'm getting up here, you'll see enemy T-49 takes up one of our KV-1s. So he's over on the left west flank somewhere. And you can see there's a very strong push going over there. And the tanks over there are just being slaughtered. I don't like it very much, so I start shifting position here. I'm going to move towards the cap circle because I suddenly feel like there's going to be lots and lots of targets of opportunity out there way too soon. And now I'm going to try and do something that only the T-49 or other really stealthy tank destroyers should really attempt. I'm going to set myself up to retreat, and I'm going to start backing towards the enemy. Yep, I'm going to try and hide in the middle of an open field. Because my tank can actually do that. And here we are, we're getting pretty close to the cap zone. Oh, there's a T-40 over there. That I can actually see, is inside my draw range. And right here, I just keep running reversing. I'm basically going to bring it right into my own cap circle. My own base, really. To get a shot on this T-40. Enemy armor is damaged. I to track with the first shot, so I know this will be a quick, easy kill. So I'll just keep shooting right about there. They're knocked down. Bam. One enemy tank down. Here comes an onslaught of heavy tanks. Our Churchill simply can't stop three tanks, including one of these super heavily armored KV-220s. I go for the Excelsior first. He's just an easier target to kill. That one missed him and bounced off the KV-220. Excelsior's nearly finished off. All right, he's done. Now all I can see is the KV-220. Fortunately, the M3 lead was spot, so I reload with the APCR and aim for the turret. But this range, even the APCR has a hard time getting through his armor. Ah, miss. Super valuable. Whoop. M7 just got close enough that I have been spotted. As you can see, immediate reaction. Everyone's like, tank in the open, quick, kill him. You yeah, also notice I stop shooting. Whoop, briefly mobilized by the KV-1. Nope, must go faster. And after about 10 seconds, the shooting stops. I've actually vanished because I've managed to re-increase the distance enough that they can no longer see me. But I'm going to keep going. I'm now, now that I've been damaged, I feel the need for a slightly more secure hold down position, like right here. And now I'm just back to regular armor piercing. Aim for the turret on the KV-220, unlike the normal KV, where you need to aim lower. Take him out. Go for this M7. He's a quick and crafty M7. Watch him zigzag after the first hit. Fortunately, he gets stuck right there. I don't know how that guy bounced off from there. Oop. 
with that last shot, the M7 got just close enough to reveal me again, so I shoot the KV-1 and then vanish back behind the hull down space here. Fortunately, there's no artillery to worry about. I'll be moving a lot further. BDR is all beaten up, but I'm going to reappear back up here on top and hopefully be able to spot something. I don't, though. So for a few moments, I decide I'm going to try and be patient. Only for a few moments. Then I say to myself, alright, everyone's been facing the bridge for a while. And I can see that there's a KV-1 and a Marta 38 overlooking the base from here. There's an M7 watching over there. And there's a BDR right up on it. I'm going to go and actually watch our southern flank. The KV-1 pops back up. And just for a moment, I'm thinking, eh, maybe I should go back. No, I'm going to go watch our flank. Because I know if I was on the other team right now and I ran that sort of firepower guarding the bridge that actually brought the score back to almost even, I would be going around right now. I would actually try and flank to the south and try and gain these, uh, these ridges over here because there's been absolutely no attack whatsoever along the side. The M7 moves forward. I see him move up onto that raised ridge right over there and I say to myself, he's right, we gotta... It's a raised position that overlooks not the bridge, there's too much stuff in the way, but it helps overlook that cap circle and will also help ward off attacks in the south. T-34 suddenly pops up in a vulnerable spot and the M7 and I just Cut loose on him with our rapid fire guns. And he doesn't stand. He doesn't even. He barely has a chance to start trying to get out of the way before he is just taken apart. I'm still very nervous about this pass. I really feel like since I've not seen him for a while. There's. I even spotted the T49 at all. We haven't seen that Wolverine for a while. We haven't seen the T28 at all. I feel like any of these tanks could very easily pop up around this corner right here and just completely take us apart. And sure enough, there is one flanking, but not where I would have expected him to. The M7 is moving forward a bit. I'm also going to move up right behind these bushes he's been using. And there's the T28 we've just spotted. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was any to me. That was actually from the T28 trying to get the M7. KV-1 lose about half his health before he dies back into cover. Rather than just sitting here where it's been being shot at, I decide to fall back to a new position. Even though I was not spotted there, the M7 was. That means they're going to be focusing their attack up there. So I need to not be there anymore. Oh dear. Okay, there's a KV-1 and a Wolverine are now attacking at the bridge at the same time everyone else is coming around. I'm going to try and help the M7 here, but I miss. And I miss some more, and i am just been spotted again, so I need to move again. But I don't want to push myself, right? The only other logical place you you're right up there with that KV-1 and the Martyr are, but that's not a very good move. So, instead I decided to come up here and just spot again and hope that, just maybe, do something useful. There's a KV-1 moving on the base over there. I'm going to see if I can hit him. There he is. Trying to get a good shot. Oh, the others are getting him. Uh-oh, here comes that T-28. At full health, I only have 119 health. I can take maybe it'll take him maybe two shots to kill me. He can actually kill me faster than I can kill him. So I call for help. I spot him, and the KV-1 just tears him apart. I see the martyr charging southward. And I suddenly realize what he's up to. He's going to try and flank the cappers to the south. He needs fire support. And the KV-1's gun is just not accurate enough at this range for me to be certain able to hit it. So I'm going to come racing around this way to this bush. Try and get my gun on the cap circle. Take him down. There's the KV-1. This is, he should be able to see, here, see me. And just start taking him down. KV-1 gets a good hit. I see, oh, there's a Wolverine back there, but there's no good shot on him. Which means, unfortunately, I missed that shot of them on the, that, but the Martyr gets him. Then the Wolf is turning. Oof, tough target. Keep when I both miss, but then he backs up and gives me a much better shot, and I manage to get the reset just as he takes out the martyr. There's only 44 seconds left. There's no way they can cap out, and I manage to take out the Wolverine for good measure. Game is over. There's only the only T49 left. We know he was last seen somewhere west of the bridge. I tell you, this KV-1, who's only got one kill so far, and apparently is hungry for more. Goes running forward, trying to yell, cover me, as he goes forward. Okay, fair enough. I'll sit here and watch for a little bit. But I'm not really expecting much. I am kind of wanting another kill. I mean, getting one more kill get a top gun. Oh, wait, there's a T-49. He didn't, he didn't run away like he, I thought he would. 
Get the guns on him. Fire a shot. Penetrating hit. Oh my gosh, come on. No, that one missed. Maybe I can get it. And the shell actually is on its way into him when <laughs> when the game ends. And it's it's literally caught in midair. I'm not able to uh, to finish him off. But still, good game and good night.